Good morning? I really don't want to focus, I'm not really sure what the problem is. But good morning, it is Saturday the 22nd of December. I'm just here by myself at home and I was thinking that it's probably, being three days away from Christmas, a good time to go and get Simone's Christmas present. <laughs> So I'm going to go to Garden City, go to the mall, do that. I might go see a movie as well. Also, I want to take the mic out and see how that does out in loud crowds and stuff. And see, yeah, see if we can put it to the test. Alright, I'm going to jump in the shower. Alright, uniform one, ready to go. And I can tell you now, I haven't even stepped outside of the door yet. And I already regret this decision. Not because it's getting Simone a Christmas present, but because... All right, as per usual, fighting with the gimbal to make it work. But look, it produces this super smooth video. Like, the stabilization just makes these videos so much nicer to watch. The only problem I have now, though, is that I think I might have missed the bus that I was trying to catch. So, if that's the case, I'm gonna call an Uber to somebody else's house because I've already left the house. I have an idea that I might have been sitting directly under a hole in the ozone because in the couple of minutes that I was sitting there waiting for that bus to come, I'm sweating like Anthony Scalia. Does that make any sense? Probably not. What I need right now is a lot of water and uh, sneaking a little sugarette. Stuff that I'm gonna go and I think <coughs> this setup um, that I'm using right now, actually, if you can see, like right there, like in this bit here, which you can't see because the microphone's in the way. You see that? No, you can't see it. It's too far down. I've got like a little clip button dealy holding the recorder on, and it's good, but it it keeps coming loose. So I need like a I need like a rubber washer to go in between the screw and the recorder and then that should fix that. Um, and the other stuff I ordered off Amazon. Amazon? No, not Amazon. Uh, eBay. I ordered uh, extra like uh, little screws off eBay and so then I won't have to walk around with this thing sellotaped on like uh, I'm gonna go into JB and inquire about like applying for a job because like I've said before it's kind of really what I want to do goals and aspirations right <laughs> trying to get your like trying to get your cues when you've got like gimbal in one hand and a bottle of water in the other hand a little bit hard still getting used to having doing this one extra step of turning the actual recorder on and I feel like it's probably gonna happen soon where I'll like record a whole part and not have turned the audio on. <laughs> it's gotta happen at some point. On the way to that place and just thought I'd let you have a look and see we're at um, Westfield Garden City and the shopping crowds are, yeah, full effect. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty busy and uh, the, the thing that always annoys me, it's kind of like the same thing as with like people who walk around with their, um, with their umbrellas up undercover. <laughs> it's just the thing of people not really being um, uh, conscious of like how much space they're taking up. You know, there's people with like shopping trolleys parked in, like, you know, we've got like little stalls like this kind of thing in the background where you know people are oh, you know you want to stop and have a look but you're pushing a shopping trolley through the mall and you stop next to that and you're just like obstructing the flow of traffic <laughs> remember the road rules and stay left <laughs> but anyway the other thing i was thinking about is that i'm gonna go and buy this uh oil diffuser thingy and it's probably gonna be in a big 
well not a big box but it's going to be in a box at least now i'm just thinking about the fact that i have if i want to do anything else today i've got to carry this thing around with me so that could be a little bit of a pain in the butt but in the butt butt <laughs> Tally and now my arm is getting a workout off this microphone but i'm so glad to if i didn't have this going there is no way that you'd be able to hear anything over the racket of people i know trying to rein in their kids in the mall they're at the store now so hopefully i actually didn't check and see if they had stock levels online or anything but hopefully they have it here uh, actually i don't see anything like it are you in the right store all right so the ladies inside the house store were lovely and told me that no <laughs> they do not sell oil diffusers because they are a kitchen store they do however sell oil dispensers uh, but that wasn't what I was looking for so we're at dusk and I think now we're on the right track <laughs> okay. So this is the kind of the thing that I'm talking about, like a little, like it poofs out like a diffusion of oil and water and uh, you know, girls love the smelly stuff, the green stuff and the smelly stuff, right Trav? So I think I'm going to get one of these. So that was disappointing. I went into JV Hi-Fi to ask about like whether or not like there were jobs going not so much there were jobs going but like how do you apply um, to get a job there and apparently they only um, open up application uh, not applications but they only open up job availabilities in September for whatever reason um, and they don't take any they don't take anybody on um, the whole rest of the year which is like a, I don't know, I suppose it's a weird policy to me, I but anyway, yeah. So now I'm gonna have to re-evaluate what it is that I wanna do because, I mean, I don't know, that's kind of all I really wanted to do. <laughs> but I mean, so I think that's probably, that's the biggest problem of um, kind of setting your sights on one thing and being nailed down to doing that one thing. Um, is that if you're going off just the fact that you want to do it chances are it's probably not going to work out so I have to try and think of something that I would be happy to do and bearing in mind that I'm only not doing it for very long like I want to you know travel in November and then move back to New Zealand in 2020 so yeah then, I mean, it could be something like super flexible, like say, like a supermarket or something like that. But to be honest, then that's just like 10 months of hating what I'm doing before I leave the country. And I would prefer that my last year in Australia is a bit more enjoyable. Failing a gun store, ringing me out of the blue to offer me a job, I need to, uh, yeah, I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do properly. So, I feel like maybe that was like a little bit whingy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just feeling a little bit bummed out. I, uh, what's good with this exposure? I have no idea what's going on here. You know what? I'm already walking. We're going to deal with it. I guess um, I'm going to have to start really... Um, thinking about things seriously and making an effort to organize some kind of gainful employment because two months is not a long time I need to have something nailed down by kind of midway through February because I can't live on the money that I get from uh, you know long service leave well that's a lie I can but uh, not for long and unless I'm gonna 
spend a lot of that money buying lottery tickets I don't see that money making any more money <laughs> uh, especially not short term I don't know I think I'm gonna go back perhaps perhaps just a little bit after Christmas maybe canvas the mall and see what um, see what's actually available uh, I feel like I'm gonna end up doing something that will be necessary but less than preferable so anyway I'm gonna go and drown my sorrows with a burrito <laughs> I was gonna jump in the pool, but I don't think you can tell. It's like it's quite uh, it's quite overcast at the moment. It'd be good to cool off, but uh, yeah, no tan today. So anyway, God bless. Look after each other. If you're a praying type, pray for some clarity for me, so I can kind of understand what I should be doing. And uh, yeah. Hope to see you all in the near future in gainful employment. Bye.